it up here. So I'm back a little bit. There you go. Do that. Yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah. pull that in all the way. There you go. There you go. Got it, can you pull it more? And then squirt the whole card. Do everything. out here today to wash it up and hopefully take it for a ride but uh, as you can see it's rain we got a pop-up thunderstorm here in the garden state this time of year is pretty normal but uh, I just want to show you the 91z we got it all cleaned up uh, it's a mess in the garage here but I'll take it for a little walk a bit it's convertible down on top seems to attract a lot of dust and uh, from cutting the grass and everything everything blowing in here I need to get my cover out on it but so again this is the 91 Z28 5 speed it's a 305 tune port uh, it's got 373 gears in it it was an upgrade from the factory I don't know what they may have been through somethings that were in there originally but uh, 323s I think were in there actually with the guy I bought it off of told me so it's, uh, it's a really clean car again convertible this was uh, started out life as a T-top car from the factory, and then they send them out to, uh, I think it's American Sunroof Corporation, ASC, 
and they do the convertible top conversion on it. So let's uh, check out under the hood and take a look at the engine. Alright, so again that's a 305 tune port injection. For the most part this is pretty stock. I think uh, it's got a few upgrades on I think the previous owner did. I bought this car in 1994. So it was still pretty new when I got it. Um, you know, but the previous owner did do some some updates to it. I think he changed something maybe on the throttle body. Uh, overall, the engine's stock though. There's no updated cam or anything like that, and it's all factory. Uh, I did put uh, put the Ford SVO fuel injectors in this. Uh, a lot of the, uh, the they're they're a little bit cheaper than GM injectors. And they still have a pretty good flow rate on them. Oh, it's comparable. They have a good flow rate, flow rate on them. They're comparable to the, uh, to the GM factory injectors, and they fit right in there. So that was something I did uh, maybe like 15-something years ago, probably. Uh, overall, the car runs really good. Uh, it's got a cat-back system on it. I think it's an Edelbrock I think I put on there again. So I did that a long time ago. Uh, previous owner did put it on. It had routed out around the flanges, I think. So I did put another system on there. But it's an Edelbrock 3-inch. Uh, intermediate pipe back to a uh, split muffler, I forget what you call that, but uh, it's factory muffler location with the dual outlets on it, single inlet, but it is three inch from the catalytic converter up to the uh, the end of the the muffler. Uh, it's got pretty good sound to it, pretty good torque. Again, 305, you know, it's not the fastest, but back at the time, 1991, it wasn't too bad. We got around there pretty good. Hooked up on the street pretty good too, but um, I don't want to do anything really with this. It's it's not an extremely rare car, but uh, I think they were something like out of the 150,000 uh, uh, Camaros built in 1991 for the 1991 model year. Yeah, you know, there are only so many that were Z28s, so many Rally Sports, Plain Janes, all that good stuff. And then on top of that, so many T-top cars, so many with the 350s. But when it comes down to the convertibles, I think they were like maybe 3,000 or less. I, I could be wrong, I don't know. If you guys in the comments, if you know, I'm gonna leave a comment. Um, I thought it was less than 3,000, 1,500, 3,000. Again, if you guys know, leave a comment. But uh, I forget all the stats on this stuff anymore. I used to be really up to date on all that. But um, anyway, you know, it's five speed. It's really fun to drive. Uh, cleans up nicely. I'm pretty embarrassed that it got that bad, but just, Keeping up on my yard work here and uh, the lawn mowers and stuff and blowing everything in there. I got a car cover for it. I need to wash it, get it on. Now's probably the time to do it. Let's take a look at the inside real quick. Now I just noticed the driver's side window is a little slow going down. That's really hard to see in there. But we got a five-speed. Uh, I just put an updated CD player in there. It's got a it's got a tube in the back, like a 10-inch tube. The 100 something watt amp back there, nothing big. Again, 90s type stuff, right? Just something we did back then. And uh, overall, it's really clean inside. I got an MSD sitting back there. I still haven't put it in yet. It's pretty sad. But, um, you know, life moves by pretty quick. And you know, all these projects, some of them I forget about it, others I see. And uh, remember, like, um, it's, it's time to get it done, I guess. But anyway, MSD, maybe one day. Not in any hurry. Thing runs great. I, I did put an MSD uh, billet distributor in it. That is actually one of the upgrades I did to this car. Because the old factory HEI, I kept blowing out modules in it. Uh, some of you GM guys with the HEI Magic Mushrooms might know about that. But the, uh, I forget what the part was in there. But the, uh, the pickup or something kept burning out. It's just they, they heat sink the electronics to the distributor, you know, which is on the engine. So that's just you know it's, it's not dissipating much heat it's actually sucking up more heat and burning out the electronics but anyway i put the the msd billet in there and it ran really nice with that um what else we got on this i think that's pretty much it uh, i was hoping to take it out for a ride today again but it is raining so it's not happening today now the sun's coming out i probably got a rainbow around here somewhere but anyway just want to show you guys a little something else, and I'm, I'm sad to show these, but I'll show you anyway because of the amount of dust on it. That's why I'm sad to show you those. But these guys will get cleaned up next. Uh, we got a '69 Camaro here, and we got my '78 Camaro up there. It was my original. That was my first car, rather, and uh, I still have that. It's, you know, Fifty-something years old. I bought that when I was 16. So 
I used to race it at the local track, which is unfortunately now closed up. And I uh, had a lot of good times in that car. And 69, this was, uh, I bought this as an eBay purchase many, many years ago uh, for my first kid was born, before my daughter was born back in 2011. And uh, about the time the new Camaros came out. So I was looking at either a new Camaro, but I always wanted a 69. So I, I came across the roller for five grand. No engine, no trans, no nothing. The interior was shot. The car was pretty much a mess. However, it was a Midwest car. So there was no rot, uh, very minimal rot at least. Uh, like on the East Coast here, you got all that salt. You guys around here know that on the East Coast. Just salt just rots out the quarters and everything. So overall, it was a really straight car. And uh, it was red when I got it. Uh, interior was spray bombed black. It was originally white interior. So this car was all put back together original with the original Le Mans blue. Uh, it's the next 44 car. It's uh, basically a stock. 69 Camaro, it's not an SS, not a Rally Sport. The, uh, the blue, I'm sorry, the white hockey stick stripe on this would have been an option for this car in 69. It had three stripe options. Uh, had that stripe, it had the, um, uh, there were some other stripes to go along the body lines, which were actually pretty cool too. And then it had the, uh, uh, what do you call that? It was like a, a band-aid bandage stripe or something that goes across the front header panel. I forget what that's called. Uh, a stinger stripe, sorry, it was a stinger stripe. It came up from the uh, front fenders and then came back to a point on both sides, you know, running down the hood, center of the hood. Uh, I think that was called the Stinger Stripe package. So anyway, I thought I liked, always liked the SS Stripe, the hockey stick stripe, so I put that on. It would have been a factory option for that car. And I tried to put this back as original as possible. Again, Le Mans blue is the original color. Uh, this did have the tuxedo interior, which was uh, white and black. And again, we'll do, a, do another video on this. I got all my yard put in here, so I gotta be careful. But. Uh, it's a white houndstooth seats with black carpets, black dash. It's a four-speed uh, walnut steering wheel from Maplewood. Uh, I forget what that is, but um, anyway, like I said, I bought this car a long time ago. Uh, I had the body work and the paint work done locally at a restoration shop. I did the whole interior. Uh, it's got a uh, it's got a 305 in it right now from a 1986 Monte Carlo SS. Uh, i got the 327 block sitting back here. I just haven't had time to get to that. It's under a pile of stuff. And again, up top, I got my 78 Camaro. We'll, we'll do some bids on these again in detail. But uh, show you guys what's cooking around here. And now it looks like the sun's coming out. But it's soaking wet, so maybe we'll take the car out on another day. Still down, guys. Thumbs up. <laughs> 